Scotland, you can see in its folk, and it's more egalitarian. Uh, and that's nothing against the people who live in the rest of the United Kingdom, it's just our politics are different. Um, so with independence, we'll always get the government that we elect, which essentially is fairer and more just. I think one of the reasons that I'm kind of definitely going to vote yes is, no offence, but I really don't want the Tories to be in power in Scotland ever. Never, ever, ever. I'm getting the impression that you all think that independence would not just be a change in the governance of Scotland and the mechanisms of governance, but it would lead pretty much to a revolution in how Scotland is governed and a move quite sharply to the left and a change in the political structures. Yes. Yeah. Laurie, you seem to be agreeing with that. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's the main driving force behind the Yes campaign has been this uh, kind of egalitarian uh, goal. I mean, there's quite a broad spectrum of different groups that are involved in it. It's not just the SNP, but I think, yeah, overall, it's not just independence for independence' sake. Mm -hmm. It's for the sake of uh, political goals beyond that. And do people generally think that this is worth taking an economic risk for? We, we know that, that Scotland, um, that a lot of the world's most successful countries are countries about the same size of Scotland in, in kind of the same part of the world. Um, and many of them have far less resources uh, than we do. The people of Finland um, you know, have like minus 40 degree temperatures every year and, and things like that, but they're, they're still prosperous, they're still a vibrant, uh, independent country. No, I, I personally believe we'd, we'd keep the pound, uh, despite what the Chancellor um, says. I don't think he would risk uh, collapse, uh, destroying the sterling uh, currency. Uh, it's like a marriage. Have you ever heard someone in a marriage say, we're getting a divorce, I'm keeping the house, but you're paying the mortgage? It's not it's just what will happen. Obviously it's not yet clear whether Scotland as an independent nation would be able to rejoin the EU immediately or not. Is that something you're concerned about? One of the, one of the main points is that if you look at the, one of the main pillars of the European Union is the internal market and if they were to exclude Scotland on the basis of like a legal technicality, um, it would undermine that completely, it would undermine confidence in the European market and it would undermine the whole sort of stability of the institution. Mm -hmm. 